Welcome back to that dad guy. It is March the, I don't know, <laughs> I've been away for a few days. Uh, as you probably are aware, I was up in Montreal visiting with my daughter Dea. We had a fabulous time exploring the city, finding good things to eat, uh, finding places to shop, finding places to explore that uh, I've always wanted to explore or places that I've found for the first time and she's found for the first time. It was a lot of fun. Hopefully get a chance to go check out some of those videos that I did while I was there. Now, I left the last video I put out, uh, me driving home, and uh, that was it. I said the end of an adventure and stuff. Well, the adventure, it was kind of over. But uh, driving that long distance home, it took me nine hours to drive up to Montreal after I finished work on the uh, that Wednesday before. Uh, it took me 10 hours to get back. And the reason for that was that there was a bit of weather along the way. So... Uh, in Quebec, I had a bit of snow when I was leaving and parts of rain, and then I had dry and blue skies, and then I had rain again. And uh, when I hit Fredericton, New Brunswick, I hit a blizzard. Uh, it went down to a single lane highway. I went from doing 110, 120 kilometers an hour down to 60. I was leading the pack with cars behind me, a uh, single lane just following uh, the treads of a car that may have gone uh, just shortly before me. There were cars in the ditch. There were emergency vehicles around. It lasted for about 20 kilometers. And then it turned to rain again and the roads were clear. And it was smooth sailing after that. But it was a little harrowing during that short period of time. But that's what it's like driving in the winter time. Uh, I would say in most of North America, at least the northern part of the United States and Canada, uh, weather, weather can be unpredictable. Yeah, if look behind me. You can see there are snowflakes happening right now. Um, I, when I left Moncton, it was green grass and the snow had all gone. Uh, the next day after I left, they had a snowstorm and then they had a bit of a melt and then now they've had snow again. So we're on and off again with winter, unfortunately. But you've tuned in for a different reason, I am sure, not to hear all that. Um, I got this envelope last week from Monty and Violet in Saskatchewan and uh, in it he sent me some stamps uh, from Norway and from the United States. So I wanted to give you a chance to have a, a check out of what he sent. I'm very pleased uh, with the stamps that he sent. So why not? Let's have a look. And if it's the first time you found my channel, make sure you subscribe, you like, you leave positive comments, you share with other people and uh, you have your notification bell on so you don't miss any of the videos. I appreciate it. All right, let's look at some stamps. I've been putting in, in these sheets as of late, uh, separating by country, trying to stay as organized as possible. Uh, these are some great older Norwegian stamps. I've tried to uh, put them together in sets if I find sets, or some of them I put together in numerically. I don't think I have a lot of stamps from Norway, so it's kind of nice to ha add in a few more here. I really appreciate that, Monty. I'd love to know, how did you get to collecting Norway? Are you originally from Norway? Do you have relatives in Norway? Or was it just the country that you wanted to collect stamps from? It's interesting as we go on these stamp journeys, where people get their stamps from and uh, why they decided to collect those. All right, so these are the Norwegian ones. And he also sent some from the United States. I must admit, the ones from the United States, I probably have most of these in the collection from my father. Some of them are a little bit older, so uh, he has most of these. So what I will be doing is uh, just double checking, make sure he has them, and then uh, I will send them back off into the world for other collectors. So there's some great stamps in here. I put all these in numerical value. of different ones in here including stamp ones and ones that are of presidents and, pres um, and uh, uh, influential leaders and of course Christmas stamps flag stamps these are forever stamps and there you are a sheet of US stamps thank you very much Monty for the Norwegian and the United States stamps um, they will uh, Go to good use, whether in my collection or off to other people. Um, that's the great thing about stamp collecting. Uh, it's a collection of hobbies of sharing with others. So uh, I will continue the trend and uh, send the duplicates that I have now 
off to other people so they can fill in holes that they may be missing as well. That is it for today. A pretty quick video. I do have a, another stamp video to make uh, for this week. Uh, Alina in, um, in Ontario sent some stamps. So I've got to sort through all those and then put them together and then I'll show you what she sent as well. Um, and then uh, I do have some post crossing that I've got to get done. I didn't do any this past weekend while I was away. So I do have some uh, friend mail to catch up on and I've checked my PO box and uh, I had a bunch of new mail come in. So this Friday's video should be a lot of fun to show you what postcards and stamps arrived this week. All right, you guys, have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?